Hello everyone. I want to show you how to uh, use lighting HD lighting box. HD lighting box into a new Unity default sample scene. Create a new project. Choose high definition sample. Okay, now you have the default sample. Everything is okay. As you can see, you have a sample scene. The frame rate. Fleshy. One under it. Okay. Twenty. Okay. Now we want to import lighting box and try to relight re the scene. Okay. First, you must go to package manager, find the HDRP package. <coughs> Wait, waiting, please. Okay, from Unity register, you find HDRP and import Persigil Sky into your project before importing the light image. Open project setting, quality, HDRP default settings from lighting section. Activate screen space reflection. Now import the HDRP lighting box. Now we want to relight the sample C. Okay. The sky Fike volume will be uh, removed by lighting box. Open the lighting box as you can see when here is a error clear. Create a new profile for your current scene. For example, here save your profile. As you can see, the fuck volume has been removed by lighting box and created two new game objects. The helper for Lighting Max Profile HD4 Global Volume. Okay, please refresh key. Okay. Search volume. Post process volume. Delete the post process volume. Okay. Now, first, must clear the data, open the lighting window. From here, you must drag your volume profile for your currents and create it here by lighting box. Choose your sky box type. Now you have a scene with proper lighting. Okay. From here, a screen.
The problem is this a spotlight it's too high intensity it's too high now your light is okay the problem was the spotlight intensity that affected by auto exposure and make your scene dark for example here this make your scene dark because use auto exposure feature so your light source must be correct value as you can see we have a well lighted scene by lighting box default let me to create the profile as you can see the default profile quality is excellent now you can easily customize the effects for example micro shadowing or from here you can etch the shadows here you can see the effect Micro shadowing, color grading, gamma. Here you can create filmic style lighting. If you want to create filmic style, use this option. useful for creating filmic style this is make your scene warm color contrast the default value is okay for most part of the lighting box uh, here is ambient collusion as you can see on the corners you have all vignette effect motion blur for moving camera and moving objects cinematic operation screen space reflection here you can see the reflection let me play the scene Camera move script at the lighting max move script clear bracket data okay here we can use switch to fully real time. This problem is not related to lighting box, it is related to the sample scene. Okay, now we want to use a screen space reflection. Your surface must have a smoothness. This is a ground mat, this is a smoothness map. Pierce FK to fill is the camera. Here is the screen space reflection. Open the mask map. The alpha channel is
way to open the texture. Okay, the alpha channel is your smoothness. Pierce control M. Make your texture brighter to have higher smoothness and higher screen space reflections. As you can see, we have screen space reflections in your scene. Here you can customize it. The screen fade. The default value is OK. Here is the quality. OK, let me to see the frame rate. You can optimize the frame rate by disabling something. As you can see, your FPS is not too high. Ambient collusion is too expensive in performance. Use always low value. As you can see, the low value is not too much different than high value, but the performance cost is too high. And now we want to try screen space reflection. As you can see, the cost is too high. The low cost is lower. Use a screen space reflection as optional. Feature here is a motion blur. Okay. Now I want to show the how to use fog. To use fog, use attention distance. As you can see, we have volumetric light. You can control the volumetric from a spotlight. Here you can control the volumetric of light. Here you can customize it, use volumetric light or not. This is not works when you have used volumetric. Okay, use the white color and customize your light color from here. This is must be white. Without this, you have a global fight. This is the height of the fight. This is the distance. This is for hiding this skybox here you, you can use the constant color for your fog this is very useful to create atmospheric Cartoon slide games. 
as you can see the result is very good this will hide your skybox use volumetric to make your light in volumetric this is completely different than normal file this is the bloom effect what you see the here okay you can customize your skybox in photoshop and control legs sure from here as you can see we have very beautiful lighting with easily using lighting box that it's not possible easily uh, without lighting box i hope this be useful for you watch my other videos to learn how to use lighting box in different scenes i hope this be useful for you